Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're going to do a new mod map tour of a map called Dairyland. If this is what you're looking for, then please stay tuned. All right, folks, here we are in Dairyland. This is not a mod hub map. This is for PC Mac players only since it is not in the mod hub. I don't normally do map tours on maps that are outside of the mod hub. However, this one is very, very, very cool, especially if you enjoy production and lots of nifty features, um, as well as uh, wide open American maps with, in general, larger fields. So taking a look, as you can see, the fields here are massive for the most part. I mean, there's smaller ones as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at this. This is because Marijuana Mayhem, who's in my Discord server and been a part of the Farmer Cop community for almost since the beginning, um, requested I do a map tour on this, and I said I'd be happy to. And this map tour, did, or this map did come out, I believe, on the 17th of this month, so it has been a while, or at least a few days since I'm releasing this, however. Um, and I finally got the chance to be able to sit down and act, excuse me, actually do a map tour on this map, so I'm very excited about that. So we are in new farmer mode. Um, we, this is, oops a little bit laggy there but this is where we start out we're right outside of a uh the, the the store essentially so we go on the map here and this is what we're going to own starting off we're going to own this for twenty two thousand two eighty, and this in new farmer mode so that should be everything on here is that everything that is okay um so there's some very 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 cool features on this map so going through here there are contracts available um there are two cow pens on the map um you have no uh, loan to start out with you start off a hundred thousand dollars you have lots of different equipment in here including fairies we'll take a look at those those are pretty cool um and yeah you have many 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 sell points that do different things as well as a lot of production that's built into this and i couldn't even begin to tell you how all the production works or how it's all going to go down but there it just is an option for you so fabrics it looks like uh meats and all sorts of cool things so oh yes very cool very 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 cool map I can't say that enough. I really just can't. So, um, and I'm, I'm again, I can't go into all the production stuff. I don't know how it all works. I haven't done a lot of the production stuff um, in my time doing farm sim, but just know that this is a really cool map. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the details around here. There's lots of stuff going on. And um, these are the lizard fairies that are up here. And we'll take a look at those and we'll ride one of those as well. So we'll take a look at all this stuff here. Um, look at our starting equipment and our starting farm as well. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're probably just going to shoot out. We'll head across here and, and there's lots of farms on here. So it looks like it would be set up well for multiplayer as well. But yeah, there's so much and there's tons of stuff going on up there. There's stuff down here. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff around this farm. So this might be a little bit long of a tour, but it's absolutely worth it to show off everything in here. So um, first off, we're going to run over to our starting farm area, which is right over here. And a lot of our equipment is just sitting out. Here it is. So um, there's that. Oh, also to note, there is a readme about things you should know about this map um, online. That will be linked down below in the description as well as actually what I'll have is I'll link the um, Spline Design Studios, which is one of the is the group that designed this. I'll I'll link um, their page um, down below and then it'll have a link for where you can download the map. And it'll also have a link for the readme for the map, which I recommend reading. This does require global company manure system, as well as the fairy mod, which if you download this map, just be understand that you have to go into that folder you downloaded. And then there's a zip file for the map and a zip file for the fairies. And then those have to be put in. And then when you're loading up this map, you need manure system, global company, and the fairy, as well as the map to make sure it works everything properly. So yeah, here's our starting farm out here. This is going to be our silo. We have a silo here. Um, that's your low point. Your unload is over here. Nifty. Um, we do have a house, which is... <laughs> Here's your house. <laughs> I love that. I was looking for a house. But yep, there's a sleep point for you. You can open that up. I wouldn't sleep in there if I were you, but uh, there you have it. There's a sleep point for you, um, as well as a dumpster. And Can you move that around? I guess it's too heavy. But uh, yeah, so if we go into the store, I mean, you pretty much can see what we own. Um, nice tractor, nice combine, uh, as well as a, tra a couple trailers there, a header. Uh, called small very small cultivator very small cedar for this map not a direct drill note that alfalfa is in this map as well you also own these various structures which are going to be dotted throughout the map that's the uh yeah there's all sorts of stuff in here that you own there's your outhouse which is your house at the same time but uh yeah so all sorts of different things you own in here is this one of the ones no this is this this is the uh standard in game one so yeah you might end up selling that or moving that or doing whatever but uh 
yeah all sorts of stuff you have sitting out here ready to go for you and again if we zoom into here you know in this section over here where dairy bros and the dairy factory are which that's going to be a production point um as well as your area here which and you also own looks like that section up here with all these buildings so let's go take a look at that before we continue on can we get in here oh you can there we go all right so this is i mean not for equipment looks like the very low level barn which you'd have the hayloft up above in real life so we'll see if you can exit you can look at that here you are you can open we can open it up properly so you can drive up here and put your stuff in here for your hayloft and there's a way down awesome fantastic detail on that um, as well as it looks like you have an actual house over here if you wanted to get like the door mod, the doormat mod or something like that um, to add in here as well and get that all set up so yeah fantastic i don't think there's a sleep trigger here nope there is not so yeah but you own all this up here as well so we're going to jump over to the shop actually we'll take a look around the shop before we buy something so in here you got your store trigger can you go in i don't think you can you can't okay these guys open up nope they do not we'll run around the edge until we find anything important such as this guy right here which is going to be your sell buy point or excuse me your sell and repair point um looks like you have one inside and outside which is super nice that way you can pull big equipment out here you can pull smaller ones in here if you want a more realism um so yeah very nifty with that uh what we are going to do though since we're going to need one for the tour we're going to go in here we're going to buy the farmer cop special edition pickup which is going to be good to go for our map tour there we go buy that guy yes okay hop out of there should be somewhere ah there it is so here's where all our stuff is going to spawn in if you're buying it we'll hop in here we're going to open up the farmer cop map tours truck symbol there so yeah here's your shop you've seen our house and our starting farm so we're going to dip down first and then we'll work our way kind of back up from the bottom here all right and again we own this this chunk of land that we're about to go to here at the very bottom that has uh, the dairy factory as well as the dairy bros sell point so here we are and my understanding is this is based on what is it columbia county and let me look at it real quick yeah my understanding is this is based on columbia county in wisconsin um which there's actually another map if you didn't want all the production stuff on it i'm um, available for it so i don't know what the well, I guess we can do this, huh? Oh, here we go. So here's where we're at down here at the, the dairy the dairy factory. So open that up. So this is, we might as well look at these while we're in here. So it's going to take sugar, salt, and milk, and it's going to make cheese, ice cream, and butter, and cottage cheese. Oh, my goodness. Guys, this is so cool. We might as well look through these while we're in here. Uh, well, no, we'll, go, we'll get to them when we get to them. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll get to them when we get to them. So that's what this guy is. Um, there's different. I don't couldn't tell you where all the all the inputs and outputs are uh purchase milk here i'm guessing that this is the oh maybe this is a buy point for milk that'd be kind of cool looks like that's what that is though over here we have the dairy bros sell point which if we go into here dairy bros is going to let's go all the way back over here they're going to buy wheat eggs milk of course and that's everything so there you have that the dairy bros are going to buy that sort of stuff and looks like you can also buy milk from them as well which is nifty if you're doing some of the production and you just need some milk all right we will continue on and again this is going to be a long map tour i'm just going to forewarn you on that and you probably already knew by the video length just because there's so many details on it so here is your livestock dealer here if we hop out you'll be able to buy animals here for your various different things so on this map actually while we're on that subject there are a couple of um animal points so there's a sheep pasture here um let's make sure we're not missing anything i believe there's a couple of cow ones as well cow down here and cows up here so sheep and two cow pastures which is nice so that is fantastic okay Hop back in here. So there is the livestock dealer. And then right next to it, we have hometown printing, which is going to be this sell point right here. This is a sell point, correct? Yes. Okay. Hometown printing is going to buy paper. That does make sense. That's probably all they're going to buy. Yes, it is. All right. There you have it. They're going to buy your paper if you have any laying around or anything that you've manufactured, I suppose would be accurate. Um, over here, we have a couple of sell points. It looks like a manure and... Is a manure? Yep, manure and slurry sales, which you'll probably be shocked at what they're going to buy. Uh, let's find it on them here. So manure, manure sales, slurry, slurry sales. So, and it doesn't look like those guys are buying anything else that I can see. 
Yeah, so, and that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if they did. So, yeah, okay. Perfect, so slurry here, manure there. Um, yeah, let's loop around the back side here because we got another cell point on the other side over here. Oh, I can't even loop through here. Never mind, we're not going to loop through the back. We're going to go through the front. <laughs> there you have it. And again, I haven't driven around this map or done anything with it. It's actually, is the cell point right here? I thought it would be further away, but it looks like it might be in there if we can't get in there. Yeah, it's going to be right. Yep, we're right over top of it right in there right now. So that, oops, geez, I hate it when that happens. That is United Cooperative. All right, United Cooperatives. Go to the beginning here. They're going to take your basic crops, looks like uh, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn. Oh, there we go. And that is everything. So that is what they're going to buy from you. I believe that's everything over on here. Yeah, I believe that's everything in this section here. We do have a fuel point right here on the right side. That's a fuel point for you. We move over here. We have another cell point. Um, actually, let's move down and hit this one first. Is this where it's at? Dollar General. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome, the name brand stuff. So I'm assuming you can sell fabrics here at Joann's Fabrics. Is it on there? Yep, it's on there. So fabrics and... Oh, they also take cotton and wool as well. So this also kind of works as your um, spinnery sell point, if you will. And let's look at those. Are all these guys... so? Dairy, the fabric factory. Okay, a lot of the factories are going to be up there, aren't they? Yep, okay. Up in the upper right-hand corner if you're not looking on there. So, yeah, a lot of those are going to be up there. Okay. So we'll take a look at those when we get up there, and we'll go through the rest of them. So the only one that's down here looks like it's going to be the dairy factory. All right, and is it the Dollar General that's buying stuff? Didn't look in the map here. Is it... What is this? Joe's Meat Shop. That's what. That's right. Joe's Meat Shop is going to be right here. So Joe's Meat Shop is going to buy your meats, it looks like. I probably should have put the global company um, icons in when I did this, just so I could show off that a little bit. But then up here at the top of the map, so we just kind of we kind of worked our way through everything down here, um, all through here. We're going to go take a look at the ferries here in a second, um, which I believe if you go in the garage, do you have those in here? Uh, maybe not. No, okay. I thought I read somewhere on the readme that they were in your garage. But uh, anyhow... All right, up here to the fairies. Oh, those are awesome. Let's see if we can't, so I believe we can enter them. Yep. So we are driving a ferry around. This is awesome. This, I just, this is awesome. There, we can set that up. <laughs> oh, guys, this is so cool. So what you can do, you have two of them here. You can load up trailers and whatever else you want on them to transport up and down through here. Just cool. So just like that, we got to be careful. We don't want to get it too far out. Oh, I'm stuck in there. But you should be able to just drive on there and do whatever you want. You could drive through this. And looks like there, we'll go take a look at that. That almost looks like an area set up for it. Drive through here, and that looks like another area set up for it. So we'll take a look at those. But uh, let's go hop back in our truck. So cool. If those things were faster, we'd take a nice long ferry ride down the river. But you can do that when you download the map. But yeah, it looks like this is like a ferry port up here, which is so cool to have that installed in the map. That's awesome. So you can park your ferry in there to set up for it. That is so cool. Such a cool feature. That's just something unique that I've never seen on an FS map before, and you guys probably haven't either. Oh, that's nice to know our other farm has a kind of a back way out there. So that's kind of cool too. Um, so what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to shoot down, just straight down, all the way down to the bottom here. We're going to check out this farm and the lime station down here. And then I'll probably cut you guys out until I get back up here. We'll check out the Allen farm, the Robinson farm, this section here. And then after we take care of that... Yeah, we'll probably loop over and head down here and check out these guys down here. And then I'll probably cut you guys out again. And then I'll bring you guys back in when we're up here at the Turner Farm. And then we'll take out check out the Turner Farm, the Young Farm, the Nelson Farm, the Bell Farm, the Watson Farm. And then we'll head up here, take a look at all this stuff up in the corner and wrap up the tour. So that is the plan. So some of it you guys will be here for for the driving so you can see kind of the scenery and the setup of the map. And then the other parts you guys won't be in for. But I think you guys will be okay with that so you don't have to suffer too much at the hand of my map tours and my driving. Such a scenic map too, just such a nice wide open map. I really like it. I'll kind of give you that view as we drive down. Yeah, just very nice, very well done map. 
I wish they could put it in the in the mod hub, and I'm sure that I'm part of its branding, but I'm sure they could change it if they want to. I don't know. There's probably another reason why they can't have it in here, but God, it'd be nice if they could release this. I know, obviously, they couldn't really get it to consoles because of all the production and stuff, all the stuff that makes this map super unique, but uh, yeah, otherwise, it's such a cool map. And I do like that there are different houses dotted about, so you could, I believe you can purchase a lot of those areas where the houses are on. Yeah, so you can. If you wanted to, you could purchase those sections. So, oh, we didn't really talk about land prices a lot. The, the fields are, in, in general, pretty reasonably priced. So, um, oh, you do own this section up here, which you could sell for 61000 That kind of, I believe, is what you need to give access to the different uh, production is you have to own the land it's on. So don't sell it if you don't want to do production. Or don't sell it if you want to do production. Um, only sell it if you're not planning to do production. Yeah, they give you all these different farms and different options for where you could start out with, which is really cool, I think. So this farm here has um, a cow pen on it. And this is also a repair trigger, it looks like, and a sell trigger. So you have, open these guys, oh, maybe. I'm sure you can open it up if you go to the right side. There you go. Big open shelters, drive through shelter here if you wanted to open up that side as well. sure some of this stuff opens <laughs> maybe might have to, might just be me not hitting it right or whatever the case may be but it does look like it should open at least um silo with a marker on it there i'm assuming this is your oh this might not be i wonder what this holds here i wonder what it holds maybe we buy that let's go into the f11 screen and give ourselves some money just so we can see we purchased this it doesn't add an icon on there, so I'm not sure what this would hold for you. I mean, it look, gives the impression that it would be like a silo or a grain silo, but it, it's just hard to tell. Ooh, wait, wait a second. Oh, silage production. There we go. Output, silage, input, bulk materials. There we go. Okay, so that's a place to... That, that's, it's like a silage fermenter, essentially, it looks like. So cow pasture with cows already in it looks like... <laughs> I'm sure there's not actually cows in it for you right now. No, okay um yeah really cool looks like this is where you're gonna put your cows in milk tanks probably gonna be right there again i don't know where everything's gonna end up being i do like this though this bunker cell you can tip in from the top or you can put in from the front so that is a nice feature when they do that on the bunker cells lots of big storage areas lots and lots and lots of that so a huge bunker cell out back here too as well so something to be aware of there and actually what we're going to do just to give you kind of an overview i think this is helpful here um we'll just do that so you can kind of see the layout so huge cow area more cows i'm assuming you can get into that i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah and this also comes with field four which is a pretty large field and you can mow the grass around the edges if you really wanted to as well so yeah a nice uh very well done map very very well done oh that's not what i want to hit let me go back into the f11 screen how do i turn that on and off Well, we're just going to turn that off. How about that? <laughs> Anyhow, yep, so we'll take, we took a look at this one. We'll head down, and I believe the lime station's the next thing up on the list. Yep, just down there at the bottom. Just across the little stream that is there. I know a lot of you really like the wide open map, so if you're on PC, this is this might be a good map for you very well done everything is very detailed it doesn't look like it's not like you know you think of like a map you download off the mod hub you know online or not on the mod you know a map that's not on the mod hub that's off you know here's the lime station by the way and you, know, you think of it as like oh it might be kind of sketchy or maybe it's not going to work or whatever the case may be but guys this is a very well detailed map it looks just as good if not at you know better than the maps you're going to find on the mod hub so it's it's really nice really cool so we are going to shoot i almost want to jump across yeah so we're going to head up here I think, and we'll head, yeah, I think we'll just head across this way. Maybe we'll head across and head up to the Turner Farm, then Young Farm, then head down. Maybe that'll work out for us better. As long as we see everything and go over everything, and again, some of these farms, they're going to look, you're going to be able to tell, okay, yeah, there's, there's structures you can go in and out of there. I'm not going to stop at every one and walk around just because it's going to take us too long, but we'll just kind of stop in those areas. So there's lots, there's tons of farms. You can pick any one of those farms to start out at, so... 
that, that really is one of the unique features of this map is you just have so many options right off the bat. And if you don't want to do production, you don't have to. You just sell off all that land that has the production buildings on it. And then if you decide to do production later, you just buy it back. It's not a big deal. So even if you're like, yeah, I don't care for the pr production kind of stuff. I don't want to do that. It's not my cup of tea. That's fine. You can still play on this map and enjoy it, I think. I don't think you have to do production. Look at that. That's another farm there. So again, yeah, there's, there's sections there for you. I'm not going to stop by and do whatever on it. We're just going to kind of drive by these two. Um, so again, this is the Allen farm we just drove by. Now we're looking on the left at the Robinson farm. Yeah, fantastic detail. Very, very, very well done. I like the trees just in the front yard there. That's kind of how the fields are like in the Midwest of the United States. They just kind of loop around. But uh, yeah, very well done. We're going to shoot up and hit. Well, you know, we'll head across and take a look at this one. This is going to have a cow farm on it as well, right? Yeah, this has the cow farm because the sheep farm's up there, right? Yep, sheep pasture peterwood cow pasture or farm or whatever you want to call it but uh just note too as well if you are thinking about using this section oh they did add it okay i was looking at i had gone through and looked at the old map version of this without all the production and this was separate so i like that they added that in so you're actually gonna get that building which that building is a very large drive-through um, vehicle shelter essentially so very cool very very nice feature to have that on here and we'll drive through this one because there's a little bit more going on here so yeah, that garage you can go into. There's an upstairs. Um, I don't believe there's a sleep point anywhere in here. There's a fuel point there. That's that little tank is there. Uh, lots of shelter space, lots of storage, a huge bunker silo off the back there and another smaller one down here. Actually, this is probably your manure, not your not a bunker silo, so my bad there. As well as, is this another... I'm not sure. This might be another fermenter of sorts. It looks like it, just based on its design. I'm going to say that it probably is. Um, okay, we are going to head back this way now, and we're going to shoot up and take a look at the Turner Farm, the Young Farm, and then we're going to loop down this way and shoot down and take a look at the Bell and Watson Farm, and then we'll also need to shoot down here and take a look at these two as well. So that's what we are working on right now. All right, I'll head up this way. Sorry, I'm very quiet, it seems like, but there's not a whole lot to mention as we're going through and looking at some of this stuff. House off there on the left. Again, lots of storage space. There's a sheet pen, looks very standard to the in-game one, so you'll probably recognize all that stuff there. Um, and then up here, right at the top, we have, what is this one up here? I forget all the names. That was the Turner Farm. Now we're up here at the Young Farm. This one's kind of in the trees, so we'll drive in here. Oh, we knocked over the mailbox. No big deal. <laughs> so we'll kind of look in here. So yeah, this is a little bit different. This one's a little bit more kind of off the grid a little bit. I don't know. It seems more kind of like it's been there for a while. The trees are overgrown a bit, maybe, but very cool. Just a cool farm, really. All right, we'll head this way now. All right, and let's see what we find out this way. This is a huge forestry area, so if you want to do forestry in this map, guess what? You can. <laughs> um, it's kind of... I, I do like that when map makers kind of make it so you can do whatever you want on the map. I'm sorry, I'm just checking the map here. So we're coming up on the Nelson Farm up here on the left. That'll be easier than going into the escape menu every time. So here is the Nelson Farm area. Again, pretty basic, pretty standard. It's got a little shed on there, barn, some details on it. Um, you kind of pick whatever farm or area you want. Probably shouldn't drive into there. We may not get back out. Oh! All right, one collision. I mean, well, I mean, we've had multiple collisions already, let's be honest. So collisions do happen on Farmer Cop map tours. It just is part of it. Up there on the right is the Bell Farm. So the Bell Farm looks pretty... looks like it has that hayloft setup, which is pretty cool. It looks like a lot of them have like a maybe that fermenter setup too. So that's pretty cool. And up here on the left is going to be the Watson Farm. So that one again is going to have just kind of your standard stuff. Shelters, whatnot. All the farms are a little bit different, but they're not too crazy unique, each one. So um, what we're going to do, actually, we'll just do this. We'll visit. So here we are down at, what is this, Robert's Farm? Yes, Robert's Farm is down here. So, yeah, very nifty. You got different shelters, buildings. This is actually a pretty, or a larger, it's actually a larger one of the farms here. So you have a lot more space to, to kind of spread out. So let's hop over to the, what is this, the Gomez Farm is over here. So a little bit smaller, a little bit more basic. Some nice detail to it here. 
I apologize if it seems like I'm rushing. I'm not trying to, but again, I'm, I'm really excited about the production if I'm being completely honest. And I really want to go check that out. So yeah, but again, check this map out, download it, check it out, take a look at it, enjoy it. It's free. It doesn't cost you any money to look at it and to use it. So, um, and it's not that hard to get it and install it and everything like that. Even if you just wanted to take a ferry ride up the river, that's pretty cool in itself. So, all right, let's get back in. Where is the truck? Perfect. We are going to drive up and finish up this map tour up in what I would call production land. <laughs> and we'll probably spend a fair amount of time on there. And I'm looking at my recording time. This actually may not be as long as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I'm hoping we can keep this under 40 minutes. That'd be kind of nice if we didn't have a six hour video for you to watch about this farm. Up here on the right is oh, a little bit of lag there as we're. Oh, yeah, a lot of lag coming up there. Oof. By all that stuff rendering in the distance yet yeah, now it's not as laggy but uh so this up here is the root crop sales so if we go into here root crop sales as you probably can imagine it's going to take your root crops so sugar beets potatoes and it's also actually going to take sugar cane so there you have it there's your root crop sell point they're easy to pull in and out of there looks very similar to mods that we have for storing those various items but uh yeah we'll head across the bridge oh this is so cool this is just like a huge industrial park if we look at it so where do we want to start Let's take a look at some of the cell points up here first, and then we'll kind of loop into the production. There's even some houses and stuff up here if you wanted, so very nifty. Very, 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 very nifty. Very glad I took the time to do this map tour, because this, this this map is, is literally amazing. So, um, all right. If we go zoom in here, we are at the barn cell point, and then this... So this is a barn cell point? We accept the following straw, grass, hay, alfalfa, alfalfa, hay, silage, wool, and cotton here. So this one might also be or not. Let's take, let's do this here. Um, is there two barns in there? No, it looks like there's a sawmill, which obviously this is obviously the sawmill. Um, and I, you may back up there to sell wood chips. You may not. And let's just take a look at that real quick. So the sawmill, I do take wood chips. Okay. And then the barn. I take all those things probably mentioned yep cotton wool and yep okay yeah it takes all the things that i mentioned as well as the alfalfa uh, products there so let's go ahead and tag that okay so that's there so i wonder what this is because that signs next to it it might just be that there's two points for it so yeah just something to note um all right where are we at in the map here i actually think we're just going to do one of these because we don't really need to get into the truck. Let's do, just speed us up a little bit. We can walk a little bit faster around. All right, down here is another cell point. This is gonna be Billy Bob's, if I remember. Yes, Billy Bob's grain is right here. That's this cell point. Um, let's tag that just because everything's a little bit on top of each other. Oh, I'm already there, untag it already. So Billy Bob's grain is gonna take um, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, and that is everything. All right. So now we're going to move on to, oh, sorry, let's go into the map here. All right, the meat factory is what we're going to move on to next. Yes, we're starting getting the production. So here is the meat factory. Um, we actually used a similar function on no man's land. So I believe this is your, yeah, this is your inputs probably, maybe your outputs there. That looks like it's your outputs and then your, or your input, excuse me, and then your outputs are, I'm not sure where, but uh possibly over here but anyhow we'll look at that in a second about production so that's the meat factory well we'll probably do them individually it just makes it a little bit easier so that's going to be this guy oh the fermenter okay so that is a fermenter there that's that thing that we we're looking at okay yeah that is a fermenter so if we open that up that is going to take um chaff straw grass oh it takes that's cool it takes straw that's awesome alfalfa so you make all sorts of silage with that or all sorts of silage yeah every, you make all sorts of stuff into silage that's pretty cool um, okay, exit out of that. The meat factory. Um, so it's going to take cows or pigs, and it's going to give you meat. So there you have it. Um, all right. And then down here, we have it right here. It's marked further down. Is this? Oh, this is a lime cell point. Lime station. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lime station. I was like, what? Uh, section is this? This is sugar production, which doesn't look like it's marked on the map so let's go into here so there is is there a sugar oh maybe we don't own it that's that could be an issue here no we own that so um sugar production is possibly not working or not working properly um, that might need something that needs to be updated or something um maybe someone let me know down in the comments what the actual issue is here 
Uh, it says take sugar beet sugar cane, so that's at least up there. And the output is probably going to be sugar. Yeah, sugar. Okay, so you probably can still use it. It just won't show up on the map or in the global... Because I'm not seeing it in here. My Oh, no, it's down at the bottom. <laughs> Gosh, I just need to scroll down. I couldn't... I didn't realize that, so... So, yeah, so it is at the bottom. Jeez, that's just goofy me. All right, so it takes sugar beet sugar cane, and it outputs sugar as we had deduced by that point. Um, ooh, you put cotton in there. That I like those. See, this is what I need everywhere is labels like that. Cotton and wool there. And this, my guess, is going to output um, fabric. Yes. Okay, so if we go into here, open that production menu. So, yeah, wool, cotton, fabrics. Perfect. All right, and then up here we have another cell point. Right around, possibly, oh, is it an in here, maybe? Oh. Sell pallets here. Sell pallets here. Okay. So this is the warehouse, which is going to buy, gosh, what are they going to buy? Ooh, they're going to buy pallets of all this different stuff here. That's cool. The, the cheese, the ice cream, the butter. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I really want to play on this map. I need more free time. So if you guys could... Uh, Give me some free time. That'd be great. I would be happy. I'd happily take it if I could. <laughs> and over here we have the paper factory. Awesome. And we got that guy here working there. That look on his face. So fantastic. This looks like your input maybe. Or no, salt production. Let's go back into here. Where is the... So paper, paper I'm going to guess is going to be right here yeah here's paper production over here salt oh they are there we go salt paper so they're not all going to show up on the map necessarily but uh the paper factory is going to intake wood chips and water and you're going to get paper that's cool so that's where you'd probably want to take your wood chips then um if you're going to do that kind of stuff since water's pretty easy to come by obviously salt is going to intake water and output salt wow um I mean, I'm guessing you need that to do, because don't you need that? Let's get out of here. Let's go into the dairy. Don't you need salt for yes, for here? So you probably, that's that makes sense. So you're not necessarily going to sell the salt, but you're going to need it for doing other production. So that's why it doesn't necessarily require anything. But uh, yeah, and I'm, I know I normally bring snow in, but this is seasons ready. So there is going to be a snow mask. Everything's going to work with the snow mask. It should just be fine. But uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the tour there. We kind of had some fun. Oh, we need to go look at the dock. So here we go. Here is the dock up here on this side of things over here in the production. So you could take stuff from here, ship it down to the town, and then you could sell it where it needed to be sold. So that's pretty cool. I wish, I will say, I know they I know they added it and it's super cool and I'm not trying to hate on it, but it'd be cool if they now designed a map where like maybe there's a huge body of water and like it's ridiculously long to go around and the, or maybe there's no other way around and that like is the fastest way is using the ferry to kind of force you to use it more because 15 miles per hour on a ferry going up this way is probably not i mean that might be a little bit faster but maybe not if you're heading down here and going around i mean if you time wise it's probably going to be slower maybe i don't know but uh i don't know if you can use auto drive on the ferries either that might be that'd be kind of cool if you could do auto drive on there again i haven't tested any of this and i'm not going to but you guys could if you go on there but Anyhow, guys, that is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this, please drop a like. Oh, wait a second. Or no, four or five. Because they have different sections in here, but I don't know if you need to sell the specific items at the correct stall or whatever the case may be, but regardless. Um, yeah, but if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If there's any other maps you think I should do a tour of, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. No guarantees if I do a tour on them. I'm just saying, I don't have enough time to do tours in every map out there. I just don't. Um, but uh, if there's one you want to see, I might look into it. So drop it down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. It helps out a ton. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop family and uh, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop, guys. Thank you for coming and watching.